it's going to hurt like hell. Like you're being torn in half at both ends. When it feels like the whole world should stop spinning. Remember what I told you to ask yourself. It's hard to exactly pin down um, what really forms an idea for a film. Personally, a lot of times it is, you know, like a like a piece of like striking imagery mixed with, uh, you know, honestly, a lot of a lot of musical influence for me. Beck's album, the the information is actually a uh, big influence on on twelve thirty four. There's this conversation on the on the last song of of the record where it's Spike Jones and Dave Eggers talking um, about what the ultimate record would be like. And there's something about that conversation that kind of elevated uh, the concept of 1234. We shot on the Blackmagic Ursa Mini with uh, mostly broken on glass from what I recall. You know, we had a, a C stand that we would spin around um, so it kind of created that effect of, you know, street lights passing on the windshield. And then we kind of ran, I think, a cookie sheet on the, on the rim light um, so it looked like the car was moving. But all, all the car shake was actually added in post. So yeah, 1234, you know, there's obviously a whole numerology thing going on there. In the film, you kind of have these like four different iterations and stages of John's life. Um, and then there's the other concept where 1234 kind of felt a little bit more personal where I felt most self-reflective. You know, I, I noticed a lot of times it'd be 1234 when I was, you know, writing or, you know, editing it or, or what have you. And it just always kept jumping out to me, 1234, 1234. I noticed that there was all these blogs online about um, other people feeling the same way about that same part of the day. And, you know, it, it's funny now because I, I have friends mention it to me all the time. Oh, 1234, make a wish. So glad you caught the book. 2001 A Space Odyssey my, is my favorite film of all time. So Space Odyssey is essentially about this divine power who would nudge humanity along in its evolutionary cycle. And I kind of wondered, you know, if something like that existed, what would it look like on a, on a personal level? So, you know, in 1234, I would say like the monolith equivalent would be, you know, the stoplight that, that talks to John and kind of makes him realize for a moment, hey, I need to stop moving and figure out how to go forward so I can become the driver of my own life. So yeah, filming, filming a, a movie where you have, you know, one actor playing all the characters can definitely be a challenge uh we did a mix of of body double and you know clever uh overlaying video on top of each other and, and making a, a mask and editing so you know two scenes are together um anything that's side profile in the in the film we have a body double who is played by greg Rowland, who was you know the most re remarkable cheeks uh, a man could ever see <laughs> and then uh, the front shots where you have the the two Johns sitting next to each other uh, we locked off the tripod and had Bradford uh, change makeup and then you know we put him on each side of the car and I just drew a line down the middle and edited him. like all indie films there were plenty of challenges on this one um, I would say one of the most difficult parts about this one specifically was, you know, the film is entirely created after we all got home from our, our nine to five job. And, you know, the film was a little delayed the first day, kind of put us behind for the, for the rest of the schedule, you know, by about three hours. So now instead of wrapping at, at midnight, we are wrapping at 3 a.m. And uh, I don't know if you know anything about Alaska in February, it's cold. Uh, it was, it was sub-zero temperatures just about the entire time, all the exterior shots. Um, did I mention I was cold? If I could go back in time and talk to myself before 
I started in filmmaking, I would probably tell myself, you know, just keep at it, never give up, keep a great can-do attitude, have fun, and probably study lighting so it doesn't take you, uh, you know, two hours to set up a an at-home interview. Remember what I told you to ask yourself. Why am I? Why am I here? What do I want?